Hi, this is Pierre at the Brussels Center, and we are here with Crystal. Mm -hmm. Give her a brand new set of brows. Um, we're going to do some microblading and some shading. And we start the procedure by um, taking a look at what she wants. First, we're going to discuss a few things. And then from there, we're going to take some measurements, and we'll proceed. Okay? Okay, good. so, what color are you looking for? Um, as far as your brows, what's your style? I don't want them too thick. Okay. Um, and I like my arch. Okay. And just here, it's very light. I feel like I have like a bald spot right here that okay. I would like. Alright. So no more thickness. And you want a little bit more of an arch, right? Mm-hmm. So you have a little bit more of an arch here. Right. Okay. done with our design uh, we're gonna have take a look and have her sit her up and see uh, make sure that everything looks fine because it does look a little bit different when you're laying down as com you know compared to when you're sitting laying down to standing up so uh, uh, let's see first of all, let's set you up adjustments okay as you can see the length perfect length you have your arch yep the same spot with Okay, perfect. How do you feel? And about you that? said that they're not going to be as yes, they're not going to be as thick. thick. Usually, the design is a little more pronounced. Um, but if you see right here, I would like to soften it up a little bit, just a little bit. It's a little more too heavy. I want. Yes, see a little peak right there. Usually the design looks a little more um, thicker, than what thicker than what it is, and as you feel, Um, like I said, it's kind of like um, threading. Right. That's what I, you know, I mean, that's what I uh, waited to. Uh, that's what what I about like a regular like, tattoo? Um, I think the regular tattoo is a little more um, painful. painful. Yeah. It depends on the areas too, you know. I, the pain tolerance, um, client is specific. I have some clients that go to sleep, literally snore. Mm -hmm. um, I have others that are a little, you know, I think they need a little more numbing, a little more TLC. So, you know, for her, she is cool, cool toned. Um, but, you know, I would, I would say stay with a medium, medium brown. 
Okay, okay, so we're going to try a couple colors on you. So put a little Vaseline is because we want to put the pigment on there so it gives you more of an accurate idea of what it's going to look like. Now, the, obviously, the pigment on the bottle, you know, it's not the color that it's going to, you know, be yeah. realized on the skin because you yeah. have the undertones on the right. skin. So you have to take that into account. color I, I, I wouldn't want to pick a cool color for you because a cooler color the cooler it's going to be on your skin right so I'm gonna stay with neutral You can see this is a single use okay bleed right there okay. you might be bleeding tool and then let me check the needle it's even though it's sterile and everything I make sure Tray should only have your tools that you're using, you know, for the procedure. Shouldn't have your pigments and every bottle of, you know, every other thing that you use, you know, it should just be strictly what you're using. You know, you sometimes you look on Instagram and you see all this trays full of bottles and topicals and everything else, and uh, basically, uh, people are just cross contaminating everything. All right, we're ready? Ready. Ready. Okay. I feel nothing. You feel nothing? I feel nothing. Okay. I hear it. I don't really feel it. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Okay. It's a needle. You know, it's about uh, 80 needles right there, 14 or 80 needles, oh shaped of, you know, like a blade. And you just very delicately, delicately stroke. You have to hold the skin, stretch it three ways. I'm starting to feel a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay.
my god i love them they look so natural it's oh, yeah. so crazy